Oh my god, how cute! Look at the frog. I love fountains. I'm at the garden center. Mums, mums, and more mums. So here's what I ended up deciding on. I got some decorative kale and some pansies, which is about all we're able to get around here for fall and winter, unless you want mums, which um, I like the way mums look, but man, they stink when they die. I got nothing to hold these things in place with, so I'm improvising. Got little compartments over here for the kale. And these guys run with the spare tire. Gotta do what you gotta do. So I just left the garden center and I was a little bit disappointed in what I saw. I walked in there and you, uh, you'll see the clip or you have seen the clip, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but there wasn't a whole lot there. So I decided to go ahead and I asked um, this one woman that was back there, she was watering the plants and I asked her about what kind of shipments they were going to be getting in, any more uh, plants and all that were hardy for the winter time. See, I'm getting ready to pull everything up out of my gardens because all that lovely stuff that I had videotaped at one point, obviously it, it's all dead. I mean, my marigolds up front especially, they grew real big and they were great, but they're all dead now. So I'm going to be pulling those out probably either this afternoon or, to, well, not tomorrow. I'm going to the State Fair tomorrow, but probably either today or sometime over the weekend. I'm going to be pulling all that out, and I'm going to be putting my new plants in, which is the kale and the pansies that I got. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of kale and pansies. <laughs> but I don't know what else to do with it, especially um, I have that raised bed in front of my house that I have as a fairy garden. And I was going to leave all the, the fairy garden stuff out there, I think. I haven't really decided yet. They're saying we're going to have a dry winter, so I'll probably leave it out there. If it say, if if they start calling for snow, I'll go out and pull it in. That that probably makes more sense than just pulling it in randomly. So I'm going to leave everything out there, and I wanted to plant some stuff around it. So I didn't get a whole lot. I think I got a lot more than it looks like because I think those pansies are six plants in each, so I have a lot of them. I don't remember how many sets I bought. They're in the trunk. I'm not getting out to check. But um, I have the two kales and I have the however many pansies. I think it's going to be plenty. I haven't decided if I want to plant in my backyard yet. I did last year. But the problem that we had last year was we had a warm winter. And the weeds just took everything over. And it was, it was like so fast. One day it was clean. It was clear. My flowers were there. They were blooming. And then the next day I went out there and there was just weeds everywhere. And I couldn't find my plants. So they were in there, but they were, you know, and every once in a while they bloomed, but so I don't know if I actually want to plant in my backyard this year or not. I'm thinking my raised garden bed, I have a plant that is supposed to come back next year. Supposed to. It really struggled to make it through the year and I need to put new soil up there because the soil was absolutely terrible up there this year. So I don't know if I want to bother putting other plants in that bed and kind of disturbing it or if it would be good to keep everything alive up there. I, I just don't know. I'm still a novice gardener. I really enjoy gardening um, and I, I, I like to do a lot of stuff. I especially like, um, what is it, this old house. Their gardener is very, very good. And I like to watch a lot of the stuff that he does. I read a lot of his articles and everything. but. I'm still very much a novice, so I'm still trying to kind of feel my way around, and I'm trying to think, do I want to garden in the winter? That's the other problem. I mean, I like looking at the flowers and the plants and all the color and everything. I love looking at all that, but do I want to weed and all that stuff all winter? I'm not sure. 
I don't know. This is me being completely indecisive. I'm probably going to end up planting back there just because I know me. Um, but right now, the stuff that I got is just for that front garden. And I feel like I have to do that now that that's there. Because we used to have these big, um, I guess they were, I think they were, I think they were boxwoods. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. But they were fairly large, but they were like 70% dead. So we pulled them all out and we put this raised bed in there instead. And I'm really enjoying it, but it, it didn't go as planned this summer because the marigolds that I got got so large that they formed like a hedge and you couldn't even see the fairy garden. Nobody even knew it was there because all the fairies and all the gnomes and everything, even the houses I had in there were all like underneath the marigolds. So next year I need to border them. I need to put the marigolds on just like the two sides and then do other plants in the middle. Because they also, I had other plants in there. I had, um, I had impatiens and I had a, a bunch of other uh, plants in there. And they either died or they were there, but you really couldn't see them. And now that everything's dying, there's these two red plants that I had that were next to the middle fairy house. And they're absolutely huge. And I'm saying, I'm like, how did we miss those all summer? We didn't see them. And they were, I knew they were blooming because I could see the flowers. But I had no idea the plants were that big. But anyway, I feel like I have to plant something in this raised bed. Otherwise, it just kind of looks like we have a hole in front of our house. So I feel like I have to plant something there. So I'm going to put this kale in there and I'm going to put the pansies. If it turns out to not be enough, which I can't imagine this isn't going to be enough. Because um, I, I, I really want to say I've got like, I've got like 20 plants or something like that. Like 20 to 24 plants, something like that, I think. Again, I don't remember how many packs I have. And I honestly, I don't remember if it was, I don't remember if it was six or eight that were in each one. So I have a lot more plants than it looks like. Anyway, all right, I'm going to stop this because I'm just completely like garden rambling. I will show you guys the finished product eventually. I don't know if I do it today, it'll probably be at the end of this video. If I don't do it today, it won't be at the end of the video. So it will, uh, you'll get to see it eventually. So, okay.